Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and today what we're going to be taking a look at um obviously as you can see is uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles done by NECA this is the one fourth scale Michelangelo and Leonardo so this is what we're going to be taking a look at today guys and I'm truly excited to have these to even own these I really didn't thought I would ever own these figures so the fact that I do have them um it's pretty cool and i'm happy to show you guys um this review and show you guys the pros and not many um cons about these figures but um let's get right into the video right after we skip to this intro <laughs> Alright guys, and starting off as always, we're going to be taking a look at um, the accessories. Now before I do take um, give you guys a look at the accessories, I want you to note that I did buy these figures used. Um, they did come from the same seller, but however they were used. Um, conditions were like new, but um, I'm not sure if I did get every accessories. Like as far as hand, as far as the hands go, I'm not sure if I got everything exactly like what came with who now because i do got two um fisted hands here that look like it's to like you know you can put his nunchucks through there but i also got the same pair over here and then i got two thumbs up hands got his nunchucks and right over here one of these and i have the other one on him so he's got both set of hands right there on and then of course the slice of pizza which is the same one i got included for leo as far as for leo goes i got um like open grip hand one with his finger slightly up same thing as over here all right guys and then two uh two fisted hands like to grip which is the ones that as well he has on to hold the katanas um so the seller really did, uh, you know, he really did me a solid and gave me a great price on both of these figures since I went and bought them both. Um, he was selling them individually. Um, for each one had a certain price, but we, I wind up um making an offer to him if I bought bought both figures at once. Um, so it came out for a good price, and I'm really really happy that I got um to own these figures. I never thought I would own them. Because I do know they go for a lot of money. Um, but let's get on to the figures themselves. So let's go ahead right into it guys. Alright guys taking a look at Michelangelo here. He is awesome. Face, Hesco, face expression. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I love the way the bandana it is highlighted in orange. Like they just went ahead and did the correct orange on his bandana. So I'm really proud of that. And man, these things are amazing. Um, the texture, you can see like the little dots going on up on up on the um head up there as well, the shadowing. Um the eyes look good over there on the mouth, his teeth. Um the bicep looks really well done. The chest right here is awesome. The, the belt going down to um the thighs and everything just well detailed guys like I can't explain enough how um happy and excited I am to actually own these figures and how amazing these figures are guys like I <laughs> I never thought I would own these guys these figures at all here he has the uh pork rind bags I love that they included that into the um into into Mikey's um right here as an accessory for Mikey. I can't even, I'd be forgetting what I'm about to say. It's just this figure's amazing guys. It's like it's like owning like the actual like it feels like you have the actual scope from the movie. You know, he's just a one fourth scale. You know, obviously he's not as big as like our life size one, but Man, the the quality on him is is outstanding. Neko really did a great, great, great job. So let me go ahead and turn him around so you guys can take a better look. 
all right guys looking at the back um this is cloth so i love that about this like it's a very nice cloth material um down to his shell very very well defined the details in it it's really well done the belt like i said it's awesome i really really enjoy this figure guys like awesome 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 let me go ahead and turn him around like to the side so you guys can go ahead and see they even did uh the side details here in the shell like this guy he's done really really well and no complaints on him obviously your neck of complaints the legs can be a little stiff and you have to be very careful with these guys when you buy these figures, be very careful with neck of figures because they do tend to have these stiff joints that break off, guys. Which I'll get into it in a minute. I'll get into the um, the cons. We're just taking a look at the pros right now. But there is minor cons about the figure. Not, not a deal breaker, but it's something just to keep in mind, you know. Um, but overall... Um, really like Mikey here. He looks amazing. Not disappointed. Got a great price on it, guys. So, he's awesome. He's awesome. But let's go ahead and move on to Leonardo. Alright, guys. Now, taking a look at Leo. Let's start with the head scope as we did with Michelangelo. Um, I love when they do give, um, these characters, like, the right colors they go with the bandana like the exact same type of blue or orange or red or purple like this blue is a beautiful blue and it really does look good um moving on to the top you can tell his um head scope not only is it a different head scope but the detail on it is completely different as well from michelangelo which is a plus guys that is awesome and if you can see his bandana, if you notice, like, his eyes are more covered in as opposed to Mikey's bandana is way more open. Um, but really cool. Um, it would have been cool if we did get a little grin going on. But overall, I really like it. He is the fearless leader, Leo. So, <laughs> I guess he has to be a little bit serious. I guess they saved the grin smile for Raphael. Um, but moving on to this figure i did get them at a, a really low price but um as as you guys may see i'm just showing you guys the bicep real quick um really well done as you guys know with neca these um these figures in their joints okay are trouble and you guys may see this on ebay a lot where people are selling these figures and this leg is apart so what I end up having to do, I still got to clean off that glue. Maybe with some glue gone. Glue, I mean glue gone. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it's called. Glue gone. Because um, I ended up gluing the leg. Because I did get it at a low price. Um, but the leg was... Um, I guess it was broken. And the guy tried to fix it. And during packaging it came off again. So guys... Neck of problems. <laughs> neck of problems is every time you get a neck of figure, you know, you might have a stiff figure and you got to be careful because the legs can break, joints can break. But I ended up fixing his leg pretty good. So I'm proud of that and definitely not a deal breaker. But um, overall, um, not a deal breaker. Just be careful, guys, when you get these figures. Um, Especially here, they're known for these under, like, this um, knee pad, like, down. The whole leg will come off. So, just be careful, guys. Be very careful with these figures. And on to the katanas. Huge. Huge, huge, huge katanas. I'll move back a little bit so you guys can see how big these things are. They're freaking awesome. Really awesome. Be very careful. Because my figure did fall a few times when the leg wasn't glued on. And he had the katanas. And it bent it, the katana a little bit. So these are very fragile. And they can break easy. So be careful with your katanas. 
Um, but overall, this is a solid Leonardo, man. A really solid Leonardo. And as you can tell, Leo has more spots in his biceps than um, Mikey over here does. Um, almost as if they were from two different movies, right? But um, still, we're going to take a look at the back here real quick. See if these swords don't get in the way. Give you guys a side view real quick before we go ahead and take a look at the back. Uh, the details on the katanas. Love the katanas, man. Love them. Um, details in the knee pads. These figures are definitely worth um, buying, guys. They're a little pricey, but... Okay. Let's see, he almost fell because um, his leg, even with the glue that I use, I used... Um, forgot what glue I used, but it's still kind of a little wobbly. Um... So you got a nice royal kind of blue going on on the cloth bandana, which it would have been cool if they used cloth on like the whole bandana, not just the back. I think that would have been awesome, but it is what it is. Um, so back here when he fell, they crack a little bit. So you guys be careful with your Leo. If you have a Leo, or you're planning to get Leo. These things are very fragile. You don't want him to fall, but overall, the detail on Leo, I gotta say, it looks better than Mikey. Like, he does carry more than Mikey as far as the holsters and the sword and stuff like that. So, I'm really happy with how Leo looks. As you can see, the glue, I still need to clean that up, guys. But I'm really, really happy with Leo. I thought Mikey was gonna be more of my favorite. Um, but it turns out that Leo is kind of my favorite for now. Um, let me see. I don't want him to fall, guys. All right. Got him. He's good. He's good. He's standing up, guys. Um, overall, good figures to buy. Um, here's Mikey. There's Leo. I like Leo a little bit better. I mean, not better. A little bit more. They're both the same. They're both awesome. Um, I kind of like Leo how he's done a little bit more though. Um, but guys, if you're planning on getting these figures, I would say don't pay. I wouldn't pay $200 for each figure. I know there's prices like that going on online. Um, these figures, I think brand new from GameStop or Walmart were about 120 so if somebody's asking about 150, 160 for one, if it is brand new, I guess it's kind of fair if you can't find a figure. But me, I would honestly prefer to find them used in good condition for about a hundred or under. You know, um, I feel like it's a great deal, but you know it's hard. I know it's hard to find these figures for under a hundred bucks. So if you guys can find them. Um, definitely don't pass on them. If, like mine's right here, if the leg was broken off and the leg is included in the packaging, don't let that, um, don't let that be a deal breaker. Use that to help you reduce the price. You know, use that to help you get it for a better price because this is an easy fix, guys. Um, but overall, I hope you guys enjoy these videos and we'll move on to a comparison. I'll show you guys the... NECA from the Secret of the Ooze real quick. How they compare. Um, just so you guys can see a size comparison. It's so dramatic. So let me go ahead and skip into that right now. Alright guys. Size comparison. You can see the katanas are kind of exactly the same. Just a little bit. Uh, well a lot bigger. Um, these are from the Secret of the Ooze too. I don't have from the original one. So they're not the exact mini clone. But here's a little size comparison. Like, I'll go ahead and take a look at that. It's kind of dramatic. Um, but what I love about NECA, regardless of size, you get the great quality and the great details. Um, and these figures are awesome too. So, you know, regardless of which one you guys are going for, whether seven inch or the one fourth scale these are great figures NECA does a great job they deliver with their product and they do a great job they do a great job and it's rarely rarely where they disappoint me 
my personal opinion. It's very rarely where they disappoint me. Um, just soften up the joints, NECA, so we won't break our figures. Um, but overall, guys, great quality. Regardless of which size you go with, these are awesome figures. And me personally, I want to own the 1-4 scales and the 7-inch scales. Um, but yeah, guys, that's just a quick um, in-depth look at these 1-4 um, scale. And if I ever do get my hands on Donnie and Raphael, we'll be doing a, a review and we'll compare them. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate you all subscribing. We hit 100 um, subscribers. So I do appreciate all the support and the channel growing. Um, so thank you guys for that. Um, also, thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for leaving your positive comments. I appreciate it all. And... Like I said, I hope to bring you guys more um, videos on, on TMT figures, Marvel Legends, DC McFarlane figures. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoy these videos, find them helpful. And like I said, um, thank you guys. I appreciate all the support. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on my next video.